Hello, we are live on Twitch. Welcome to Wednesday Night D&D with Becca, Lexi, Brett, Maxwell, and Rachel. I'm GM Matt. Uh, we are working our way through the, uh, through the adventure uh, Princes of the Apocalypse. And right now, our party has been making their way through a uh, monastery known as the Sacred Stone Monastery, and uh, they have discovered, as they did on three previous occasions, that there is an elemental cult that is rooted within this monastery. And they're just kind of slowly and quietly making their way around the building, uh, trying to see what they can locate. They, they, they know that there are some slaves uh, underneath the building and uh, in an area that they've just briefly been into to deal with a, a rather unpleasant monster that pulled one of them into a pit. Uh, but uh, beyond that, they're just kind of exploring around the, the top of the building right now. You've had a, a short rest, like close to the end of the last session, so everybody should uh, be credited with their whatever they get out of their short rest. And uh, we are ready to continue. What do you all want to do next? Okay, so just, just a question I'm going to throw it out there, because there are a bunch of beds. Is this an opportune moment to take a long rest, or are we concerned that there that we may be uh, attacked in in the night? I'm concerned for sure. Yeah, I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think we. I think I don't think we necessarily have to, but we would recover some things. Yeah, so I would what is a lot of magic uh, if we were to take a long rest? I don't, I don't know the difference between a short rest and a long rest, or what. It really means. It's a short rest, and this is a what? long rest. Gotcha. <laughs> um, so on a long rest, you recover all of your magic spell slots as a magic user. And so my, my take on it is the biggest difference is for magic users, that magic users get like all their spell slots back on a long rest. And on a short rest, you know, Brett got a Breathe Fire back, I got a couple Channel Divinity back, Becca got a couple Shape Shifts back, like, but uh, not our other, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10 spell slots. Well, if right. I literally have no spell slots, Avi. So if you got, I mean, I could keep watch. We could have, or me and Rachel. Yeah, I don't have spell slots either. Yeah. So you guys could rest up and we could just keep watching. We wouldn't need to take a long rest, really. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. That would increase the chance of success. I, I'd feel yeah. safe with them watching over us. Yeah. If you got, especially if y'all took like some, sh some shifts. <laughs> and you got, you got half rest. Okay. You got half rest. Well, maybe we could finish like scouting out the top floor. And okay. then, like, because I think there's one more return. doorway there. Yeah. That's not and, a bad uh, idea, actually. Yeah. And and then just, you know, the only part we haven't scouted is the under tunnels, but we're less likely to be disturbed by creatures in the under tunnels than, you know, stuff that might be in that room 40 feet away. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Sure. All right. Let's do it. I'm done. Uh, me and Sayuri are, no, me and Kark are still in, in Monk Bar, right? That's right. Yeah. All right. Uh, who's good at perception? I okay. am. I'm good. You want to go listen at the door first? At uh, which door? The, the one where Kark is by. That one. Oh. I'll, I'll go ahead and listen. <laughs> okay. I'm already here. What do you hear with your bird ears? So Kark is able to make out uh, the sounds of somewhere between two and four uh, creatures of some kind moving around inside. You don't know if it's humans or other creatures or what, but but there's something silently kind of moving around, shifting around a little bit in there. Mm. Okay. I feel like that was the same thing we heard 
last time before we went into the dwarf room. Uh, we heard snoring, I thought. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Well? Uh, I, I want to just open the door slightly and try to peek in. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be Glory opening in and trying to peek in? Yep. All right. Yep. And you've got, uh, just to be clear, you're wearing your uh, costume or uniform that you'd taken off of some monks earlier. Is that yes. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and I'm right behind her wearing the same. It looks okay from the front because of the mask, but it's not great. <laughs> I'm probably going to, this is maybe a bad idea, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to wait over here because last time they were able to kind of see me. And I think that, yeah, that's true. you know, so mm -hmm. I don't want to be super far away, but I don't want to cause issues. So I'll back up too. Cool. Okay. All right. And so we've got glory right beside the door looking through right now. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So you can see. A couple more of uh, the monks that uh, you found all around this area. And then there's a door, also a door on the far side of that room. They, you recognize, you kind of recognize them as the people that you talked to when you first showed up mm -hmm. and knocked on the front door. Oh, um, yeah. And uh, go ahead and make a stealth check. Okay. Just her or me too? Uh, just her. They're not washing dishes as they should be. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, so so uh, one of them kind of looks over its shoulder back at you and then looks ahead and then looks back again, kind of curiously looking at you like, why are you peeking at me mm -hmm. through the door? Okay, I'm just... And, and now he's walking towards you. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, close the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, That's not suspicious. I'm just going to motion to everybody to get back into this room. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't, Don't be, be suspicious. suspicious. Don't, Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> okay. So I would like, is, is everybody going to go back into that room? Sure. Sure. I'm just jumping on the beds here. So uh, what I'd like yeah. is for everyone to make a stealth check now. <laughs> oh, no. <God. laughs> Wait, I was already in the room. Do I still need to make a stealth check? Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have disadvantage on stealth check. So that's I try to put my mask falls off I'm as I walk back to the room. <laughs> Oh, I don't. Do it makes a clattering sound. Wait, all along the hallway. All right, so let's move. We're gonna move cart back. Ooh. Here. Oh yeah. Seventeen. And naturally, I choke in my moment to shine as a rogue. He comes through the door <laughs> and he sees this giant avian human avioid looking <laughs> thing. And um. And. Uh, He's kind. Of, he's just kind of stunned for a second, just kind of standing there looking at you. Uh, hi, how are you? It's fine here. He says, "Who are you? What are you doing here?" Uh, I pull out my crossbow and say, "Boring conversation, anyway," right. and line up a shot. No. TK four two one. <laughs> All right. Whoa, that was cool. So yeah, it's, it's a, a program uh, called Combat Tracker, or it's not a program. It's a what they call an API script called Combat Tracker, and it just gets does the initiative really, really fast, and also highlights the current currently active. Yeah, token. that's cool. So yeah, so here we go. Um, he is going to charge down toward Kark, who's still trying to get off the ground, and is going to attack Kark with advantage. And I, want I deserve to this. Check one. <laughs> here. 
everything's fine here. Uh, how are you? <laughs> he's after your collective. He's a, he's after your rare feathers. He's a collector. <laughs> Feather collector. All right, here we go. I just want to make sure about something here. Yeah, he's going to make two melee melee attacks. The first one I assume oh, yeah. misses, and the both second hit. one I assume hits for four points of damage. No, both hit. I just have 13. Oh, that's right. He has advantage. So, um, so yeah, so that's uh, seven points of damage. That's rough. All right. And uh, then that immediately gets us over to uh, Kark's turn. Okay. I... Uh... Don't uh, don't uh, pull out pull out my crossbow. I finished standing up because I assume I was prone. Yes. Um, for my movement, and then uh, I. Uh, so you are engaged. I cast you stand up. Yeah. Let's see. Can I cast sacred flame while engaged? I think so. Nothing tells me I can't cast my sacred flame cantrip while engaged. Yeah, um, spells. There may be some spell casting rules generally mm -hmm. to prohibit that. But let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do it. Don't want to sp slow the game down while I look things up. Oh let's, sure. Let's do it. Okay, so he has to make a DC 15 save. All right. And it's dexterity. All right, so that's a fail. So that's three, three damage? Yep. Okay. And that's it. All right. That gets us to Glory, who's standing right by the door. All right. I'm gonna burst out uh, with lots of, I don't know, um, and come over to this side of my friend. Do I, well, oh, I guess I do have advantage because we got him blanked. Um, okay, let's just do a martial arts. Okay, uh, you've got an advantage there, so that uh, does hit. Great. Is that a hit? I'm yes. Okay. And bonus action. Uh, that is also a hit. Sweet. For six more. Yep. And then up. we have a third attack. Yeah, my bonus action. Also, a, also a hit. All right, and then I will pass turn. Okay. It is Glory's turn. Uh. I'm sorry, it's Sugar Cane's turn. Yes. So, uh, I'm here. I think yes. I'll use my movement to get over here. I can do that, right? Yes, you've got enough movement enough. pretty easily okay. to get to there. I guess here, I suppose. Uh, and then, can I attack this guy, or am I going to be at disadvantage because my friends are kind of around him? No, you, you can attack with advantage. Oh, sweet. Okay. Cool. Uh, I haven't used normal sugarcane spells. A uh, hot minute. Uh, hmm. I guess I see why. Uh, do, do you have any cantrips? Yeah, I can do. I'll do produce flame. 
Okay. Against him. You, you do not have to engage him to use that cantrip. Oh, okay, uh, sweet. So if you want to reposition, you can do that. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll, I'll step back a little bit. Okay. So I'm not in, you know, I'm not going to be hit too hard. So yeah, unfortunately that attack is not successful. Dang it. Wait, wait. <laughs> All right. Trombone sound. Cool. Uh, do I do I get to do another one or? I don't believe you can get a multi attack with your spells. Uh, all right. I'll just I'll pass turn then. Okay. <laughs> Becca, look and see if any of your spells cost a bonus action, because then you could cast a regular action and a bonus action spell. Let's see. But yeah, she can look at that for our next turn. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah so there's a uh, you see, kind of down the hallway, a couple of you can see a, this door open up right here. Uh -oh. And another monk kind of comes running out and running towards you down this doorway. And he stops about right there. And then that gets Sweet. us to Sierra's turn. All right. Can I get right here in between Karg and Glory? Yeah. You can, sure, always, you can always move through spaces that are occupied by your allies. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah. You you just can't end without penalty. You just can't end on those spaces. <clears throat> hey, watch the wings. I'll do a little stab with my main hand, sneak attack, I believe. That is a stabby attack that kills him. Woo! Okay. All right, I forgive you. And I probably can't get to this guy, so I will. Hmm. Let's see. Just uh, I'll just stay where I am by my friends, and I'll pass turn. Okay. All right. So this this monk now runs through the door and comes all the way up to Glory, and attacks her with. She is. He is going to have advantage. He is. Well, uh, first, the second first one. First one is going to miss, but the second one is going to hit for five points. Yeah. And you can hear some beyond this door. You can definitely tell that there's some motion. There's some more people that are coming from down there. Is is there well, is there anything we do to like close up the door after we take care of these guys or? Uh, you can try, try to barricade it with the gargoyle. <laughs> the gargoyle. Well, it's not my turn, so. Okay, uh, that gets us to Ekron's turn. Okay. Um, oh, like, can I technically get here? Because, I mean, I have to go like here and then here. Right, so yeah. do I have to go here? And then there, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so you're because I kind of have to go like up and then over. Yeah. It seems like those squares aren't measuring correctly because yeah, they I should just be five, five feet, feet each. They should be five feet. So, oh, so I should be able to get yeah there then. Yeah, okay. you should be able to get there or there. Let me see if I can okay. fix that real quick. One square, one grid cell equals five feet. Okay, try it again. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Yeah, that looks right. Fifteen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let me figure out how I want to position myself here. Um, In front of me, please. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to go here or here. My bones are hollow, and my armor is leather. All right, I think I'm going to go here and whack at this monk with my great axe. Okay. Dear D&D &D Beyond, help. Help me. There's just there a delay. All right. 
to him. It may concern There we go. Help. There's a seven point hit. And there's an eight point hit. Okay, so since those hit, I'm going to use um moment. Where is that? Nope, that's not it. There it is. Let's see if this works. Did that work? Yes. Okay, so I did branding smite, which I can use on a uh, on a successful hit. Okay. And so that does an additional five points radiant damage. Yes. Okay. All right, so boom, 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 and you've got him way back on his heels now. All right. And I'll get my shield out and end my turn. Okay. So, um, yeah, you're now seeing three more come running through this door right here. They're not in the initiative tracker right now. Oh, boy. Uh, but I'll, they'll be taking turns at the end of initiative uh, on the next turn. So that gets us to round two. And uh, our first guy is... I may as well just delete his token so that he doesn't keep showing up. And it's Kark's turn. Okay, I'm gonna uh, back it up a little bit and uh, cast another Sacred Flame on this closest guy. Sure. All right. So he fails and takes 13 points of damage which roasts him. Nice. No problem. Sweet. We're taking care of these guys pretty easy, as long yeah. as that door doesn't keep streaming, <laughs> throwing wave after wave of monks at us. Right. Oh, we're great. It's, yeah, it's they're, they're, they're monks. Faster. They ain't doing... They ain't doing... Cool. Don't talk like that about glory. <laughs> All you glory, get in there with your kung fu fighting. All right. So this one's still alive right here, though, right? Uh, yes, it, yes. All right, I'm going to do a... a... Oh, Glory's turn. Okay, let me get that switched. Okay, oh. go ahead. Woo. Oh, where'd you go? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I she jumped I, through I the wall. It when the thing... Anyway, I'm going to do a double front flip over. <laughs> uh, and we'll just do some, some kicks. I'll kick at him. I mean, that's a window, so you technically could have dive-rolled through it and back through. Well, that was not my intention. Is that a hit? <laughs> uh, yes, that is a hit for seven points. All right, number two. Okay, oh, yeah. that, that will be nice. a hit. Come on. Oh, sorry. For another seven. <laughs> I said twice. Well, guess it's got to go in twice. And bonus action. That is another hit for another four points. And now you got another one back on his heels. As long as they just keep running through one at a time, I think you're going to be okay at this rate. And then I'm going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spend a key point to do one more. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. All right. That is a hit. That is a hit? No, I'm sorry. That is not a hit. I was about to say, I don't think yeah, I Yeah, I, I forgot that you did not have advantage, so no. Yeah. All right, cool. You hit the wall. Then I whiff. And it cracked a little. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. I, just say it, it's impressive. All right, it's me. All right, it's Sugarcane's turn. I'm going to run up here and try to do another fireball again. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. Nice. All right, great. So, so uh, yeah, so you, you have to roll your damage now. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. 
Oh, sweet. Yeah, all right. So he's he he now falls in a flaming heap, unable to get rid of all the fire that's what? spreading across his his body. He's dead? All right. He's dead. Yeah. That's right. And Becca, the way your produced flame works is it, you actually get disadvantage if you're in melee range because it requires a ranged attack roll, even though it's a spell. Oh, okay. Versus something like my Radiant Flame doesn't because it doesn't require an attack roll. And so you want to do it uh, in the like 10 to 30 foot range instead of that face to face five foot range. Yeah, yeah. I'm if you can. I haven't, I haven't done anything in my week before in so long. I just forgot what my spells do. <laughs> oh, you're good. No, I, I just learned that, yeah. and I, I posted it in the chat a little bit ago. So yeah, past turn. I just looked it up. To scurry. Okay. Oh, sorry. Next turn is Siri. Well, I can... Okay, so... I can probably make it about to the doorway and no further. What? Yeah, is this door open right here? Which door? Uh, I was, hang on, I had the ruler on. The one that the monks have been oh, coming yeah, through. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's open. Okay, so my, um, hang on. My short bow range is eight. Oh, okay, so let's see. I'm going to take a shot. Oh, that's not me, that's me. I'm still going to take a shot. You think I have line of sight through the door from oh, where yeah. I am? Yeah. At this guy? Yes. Okay. Take a shot at this guy right here in the front, and with my short bow, there we go. And let's see. I don't know if I get sneak attack with a bow, but. <laughs> that is a hit. I I don't think it would put it there unless you qualified for it. So Once per it. turn, you can deal an extra 3d6 damage to one creature you hit with an attack, with finesse, or a ranged weapon. There you go. Okay. So there's 17 points of damage to him. Nice. So yeah, so that just lodges into uh, into his shoulder, but he's still advancing towards you. Okay. Um, I will make my way closer to the door with my movement here. I'll go here in front of the glory. Okay. Pass turn. All right. It is Eckerd's turn. Okay. Um. Just check something real quick here. I don't know why it doesn't. D and D Beyond isn't telling me the reach of my breath weapon. I'm not sure why. Let me see if I, I think can. It's a 15 foot cone. It's a. Says yeah, it says it's a fifteen foot cone. So okay. Yeah, so it's just fifteen feet directly in front of you. Okay. Yeah. So if I can use and and that like it expands, getting a little bit wider. So I guess so I, I don't know whether that means like one two three width or like one one two width. Yeah, yeah. It looks, looks like you could affect two of them. Yeah. I used to have some spears, I thought, but I can't seem to find them in my inventory right now. I was going to maybe throw some. Let me just make sure I didn't. You lost a pirate rating. No, I do have them. I just didn't add them to D&D Beyond. Mm. Um, hold on. Let me see if I can quickly add them. Maybe not. If not, I'm just gonna spear. Yes. Yes, add you. Okay, perfect. Okay. So I've I have these throwing spears and I think I'm gonna throw I'm gonna get like I'm definitely gonna move here. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Here. I think that's how far I can go. Okay. And Let's see if I can get this to do what I want it to do. 
Ah. Ah, yes. Oh, those are kind of weak sauce. That's all right. That's all right. We'll figure, <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right, I'm going to throw a spear at this first guy okay. right in front yeah. of me. Why not? Um, it doesn't give me a... Oh, wait. There we go. It doesn't give me an option to, like, throw it versus just like wielding it so is that a i don't know if i need to roll it's, something differently if it's a or it's the same spear, you i should... can throw it yeah if it's a spear you should be able to use um yeah yeah you should be able to to uh, attack with it as a throw weapon yeah Okay, so I'll just try that like normal. Okay. And can I still multi attack like with a second spear? Yes. <laughs> so the first one right. is going to be a hit for eight, which is going to knock him over and kill him. Nice. Okay. Oh, okay. So I got another spear for his friend behind okay. him. Okay, that one, that one does not hit. Okay, well, can only do so much. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a dragon. <laughs> you did uh, your best. Not a professional, like, you know, Olympic athlete here. Just, you know. All right, so. I uh, got another spear. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm down to one spear. Um, okay, that's all I can do, so I'm going to end my turn. And, well, pull on my shield and end my turn. Okay. All right, so now it is, uh, now it's their turn. This one is going to run uh, and uh, kind of position itself on one side of you. He's going to attack. This will be without advantage. Uh, looks like maybe one of those attacks hits for three. Yeah, that first one will hit for three. And then this other one is going to run, get on the other side, and he will attack you with advantage. Looks like neither of those uh -oh. are going to hit even with advantage. Um, if your AC is 16. 18. Then, yeah, 18. So yeah, yeah, for sure. With the shield. is going to hit. And Killing it. that gets us to Kark's turn. Okay. Sweet, it worked. We'll uh, get right up to the doorway here. And uh, this, this northern guy, I'll uh, cast him Sacred Flames. Burn him up. All right. Burn that fool. So that is going to be nine points of damage to him. Well, I think 12. They say they throw 12. Right? I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. You're good. Pass yeah, turn. I was, I was reading that nine again on it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you just get cross-eyed. There's so many numbers on the screen. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it's Glory's turn now. All right. And, whew, I do that every time. Sneak through the doorway to this one on the north side. Yeah. Okay. And... Okay, that's uh, definitely a hit for nine points. That's another hit. And that kills him. Nice. Uh, I don't know if I have enough movement to get to the other guy. Do I? Uh, how much have you used so far? You'll never know unless you try. I was here. Oh yeah, you only use like fifteen to get where you're yeah, at right now. Yeah, I guess you're right. Point. Yeah, and you only need to move five to engage that's, him. So. That's true. Um, okay, cool. Just gonna come over here and use my bonus action. Okay. To do some punching. And yeah, I have uh, with, it, right? with advantage, that is a hit. Okay. For eight more. Next, and am I? 
right. Okay, I am going to. It's my turn. Make my. Oh, no, it is. Sorry, my turn. That's all right. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna jump. They don't look anything alike. And do some stabbing. Yeah. Uh, jump over, Kark over here. Uh huh. And I'm gonna throw another fireball. Bada bing, bada boom. That's a hit. All right. For another Aww. four points of damage. Hooray. <laughs> no. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and then, yeah, fast turn. You get two cards. Now I'm going to run right up to him and stab him with my main hand. Here we go. Stabby, stabby, stabby. Okay, okay, that is. Uh, let's see here. With advantage, that's that is going to be a hit, and that is going to kill him. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I would think nineteen should do it. But... Yeah. All right. Well, certainly, thirty-one would. Yeah. Cumulative damage. All right, so uh, you you kind of spend a, a minute kind of restoring, uh, trying to kind of brush yourselves off and catch your breath and everything. And when you do, as you're doing that, this door opens again. Oh, look. oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> I should have thought of that. that. In through it walks a woman who's wearing robes that look a lot like the cultists. Um, but you can tell from looking at her that she's com she is completely blind. Oh, no. She can't see at all, but sh yet she's able to walk around and sense her surroundings somehow. And um, she just kind of calls out into the room as four other monks walk in behind her and kind of take positions around her. Uh, she says, um, who is it? that would dare disturb uh, the true worshipers of our Lord, Marlos Unrail. That's his name? We already knew that, I thought. Yeah, yeah. you did. Well, I got it wrong. You're, you're no true worshipers. You desecrated the dwarves' holy place to make this place, I think. Yeah, the Shrine of Morden has been really desecrated. I don't fully understand the history, but... <laughs> and, uh, she yeah, you might not have been here when we learned about that. Silence. We did That's nothing fine. but uh, correct, um, the, correct this place so that it can serve its true purpose of serving Unrele and the Earth itself. And, and now, she says, are you prepared to pay the price? Listen, I jump, I jump over. Ah! <laughs> Listen. Uh, Matt, no, Matt, we forgot talking. our wallets. Being blind and everything. Does, does she look, does she look like, she is she like, maybe like a wizard or something? Or, like, is she going to fight? Or are these people going to... She looks to you like a monk who probably has super honed senses. Yeah, I kind of figured that might be a thing. Um, and that she's probably kicked a lot of ass in her day. Mm. Yeah, figures. <laughs> All right. So we might. Uh... Mm. All right. I, w I look at her and I say, "So, so there's no chance that that you're going to be. We're going to have a reasonable discussion about what's, you know, our position here." She says, reasonable, reasonable, and then she cackles for about 10 seconds. Uh, the time for that has passed, little one. Ooh, we did I kill a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, we are standing amongst the corpses of her fallen monks. So, All I'm, right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to secretly reach, reach my hand back to Glory here, and I'm going to give her... What's your health at? 25. Out of... 45. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give her... I'm gonna use some lay on hands, real all secretive like, and give her 15 points of health. Yeah. 
Yeah, and while he's doing that, I'm going to distract him by saying, all right, well, it's your funeral. And then I shapeshift into a cave bear. Yeah. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move you aside temporarily, and I'm going to get your cave bear back out there. <laughs> you've well, you've vanished. Everybody, and, uh, do you do you have uh, control over that token and that character uh, sheet? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. Listen, All this right. is listen, listen, lady. This is your last. <laughs> you guys can surrender and you can leave. Or, oh, I guess we're already fighting, so. That's all right. You can, you can go ahead, <laughs> yeah, you can, you can go ahead and monologue some more. That's fine. We've, we've very easily <laughs> we've very easily crushed all your friends. So we can either do that to you or you're welcome to go. Here's the front door right here. You can take your your cult friends and you guys can go and live free and merrily beyond. Akron, they're going to fight us. <laughs> they might not. Wait, no, she can't. I rolled really well. They're going to fight us. Oh. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I see. I see what you did there. <laughs> but the thing is, she, oh, listen, blind lady, look, I realize you can't see me, but I'm a large dragon. And if you could see me right now, you would be very scared. And you would know that the best thing to do would be to take your friends and go. All right, go ahead and make an intimidation check. We also have this dwarf, um, or this <laughs> goblin. You were a large dragon. No. You couldn't fit in this room. She doesn't know that. Wait, what am I doing? Intimidation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is going to work so good. Can I give him bonus points? Cause... Wow, that did not work good. Yeah, that does not work so good. <laughs> that so uh, you can see them all starting to move towards you. Uh, but Glory gets the jump on them, and she gets a chance to act first. Well, I'll start off by rolling my eyes at all my badass... Sorry, you can't see me. I did quit it. Uh, teammates. <laughs> let's just... Uh, let's just bounce off the wall to this guy over here and land a few punches and smacks. That's a hit. Punches and slap him. That's a miss. Yeah. All right, and then bonus action. That's a hit. Nice. Oh, not much damage. So eight points of damage. All right, and then I will pass turn. All right. It is Kark's turn. Um. I uh, I cast hold person on uh, as a third level. Um, let's see, and uh, I, I do it on these southern two uh, monks because casting it on third level lets me add an additional target. All right. So they both have to make wisdom saving throws of fifteen. Okay, so I'm going to put a symbol on them to show that, that. Do they do it immediately, or do they do it when it's their turn? Oh no, um, the target must succeed yeah, on a whiz saving throw or be paralyzed for the duration. All right. So and then at the end of each turn, it can try again another wisdom saving throw to break okay. free. All right, I got it. So these are going to be what's the difficulty? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, so we'll do the top one first. He passes. Oh. The bottom one. He nope. does not pass. And so mm -hmm. let's. So he's paralyzed. Go. There we go. The snail. All right. So that'll that'll help us to remember that he is paralyzed. All right. Anything else? And then I'll uh, cast as a bonus action, uh, spiritual weapon. Okay. And, oh, I think I clicked it twice. Yeah, so uh, who are you attacking? Um, so then it's going gonna, it's gonna to move up here and engage with the top one that Glory's engaged with. Okay, so it's going to be 11 more points for that one. Yeah. Because you critted. Somehow you rolled two crits. Nice. Bad thing. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. 
Because they're different roles. So I'm confused yeah, I know. about that. Yeah, they <laughs> have a higher crit range for 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 it. I don't know. But at any rate, yes, cr critical success is greater than 17, according to... Seven, yeah, critical success greater than 17. Anyway, that's, that's either way, you, you did the damage. Anything else for your turn? Uh, that's it. Okay. Siri is next. All right. The, uh, the leader really made me mad. And so given my current position, I'm going to do some acrobatics off of Sugarcane's back and attempt to stab her in the eye. Ooh, wow. She's already fine. Okay. <laughs> Are we ready? We're ready for yeah. this. Stabbing um, in the eye. I kind of crouch down and like get ready for so it. So we're going to have to move. I'm going to move you over there where you're engaged with Sure. It. Oh, yeah. And, Thanks. And... Um, so then off the sneak attack, that is uh, 12 points of damage on the leader. Nice. And um, I think for my second move, I'm going to disengage because I have a feeling she's really strong. So for my bonus action, I mean, I'm going to disengage. Okay. All right, so bonus And action. dash kind of over here. OK. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. It is Echo's turn. That's turn, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, so, I think I want to get right here, up in her grill. And yeah. um, I should, with my breath weapon, I should be able to hit all three of these i believe because it's a 15 foot cone i think so so uh yes yeah yes, so i think should. it hit these these, these three pools okay. so i'm definitely going to use that so i'm going to huff and puff and blow their house down okay yeah uh, there we go All right, so this is going to be 12 for any of them that fail a constitution save. So here we go. Yeah, constitution save. So. So the, so the leader passes her constitution save and she will take six more damage. And then the lower of the two monks uh, does not pass his constitution save, so he'll take 12 damage. Perfect. Has he already taken damage? Which one? Which one? Of the two monks. He has the, um, the spell that Maxwell did, the enchantment. The hold person. Did he take any damage? But no, no, no. no. The, this the the one that's in the cone. This guy. Oh, you're oh. going. Oh, are you right. going Up or down? Okay, up. Okay. So. Yeah, I'm trying to hit these okay. these guys. So he is going to take. He is going to take then uh, twelve damage. What got me confused was, and then the last one is not going to matter. He's going to die either way. Yeah, what got me confused was uh, the po hit points showing on the a uh, couple of these doesn't look right, so I'm having to get that corrected. Okay. Um, it's supposed, I just realized it's supposed to be that way. So it's so in reality, um, in reality, you've killed both of those monks. Oh, okay. oh perfect. Perfect. Uh, let's see whose turn is Sayuri. I already went. Oh, it's my turn. Yeah, I was just trying to think. I was trying to see, see if I should protect somebody from damage right now, or if maybe I should wait till my next turn. Um, actually, I think what I'll do as a bonus action is... Um, I'll do... Uh, 
Um, uh, what's what's Becca? What's your bear form? Uh, what's your AC? Good question. Uh, my AC is twelve. Even as a bear? Really? Yeah. Oh Ooh. snap! I have more. Okay. You're a bear. Um, well, then I'll I'll go ahead and cast this on. Let me let me do it. There we go. <laughs> God. Uh, I'll go cast this as a bonus action on uh, on our bear friend. Thank you. There you go. Right. Sugar bear. <laughs> Sugar bear. Sugar bear. Oh my gosh. Perfect. I love Perfect. it. <laughs> All right. And I'll get my shield out and I'm done. Okay. Perfect. Now it's Sugar Bear's turn. What's that? There we go. My fur is made of cotton candy and my heart is filled with hate. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to jump over Ekrin, so I'll just kind of like shimmy around okay. over here. Okay. Bears are the best Scary dragon. All right, and I'm going to take a swipe at, oh, or I'm going to do a multi-attack at the leader, this girl. Okay. And I'm going to bite. All right, so that is a hit. Awesome. Nice. Biter. Guess you didn't see that coming. <laughs> now I'm going to claw her. Uh, Making fun of the disabled is so easy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that is also a hit. All right, here we go. Ooh, 11, 11. more. Okay. All right. Cool. Anything else? Um, I think, yeah. Actually, I think I'll stay here since I do have that shield, okay. just to like absorb some damage, so you guys don't have to. So I'll pass turn. All right. So. So this monk right here is going to go into action now and immediately start attacking sugarcane and so we're going to have a crit um, it, that is going to hit automatically and then the second one I assume is not going to hit even with advantage because of the plus two yeah bonus. no it's not going to hit so the, but the first one does hit with a crit for ten points yes hits the bear with a crit for ten points not too bad. All right. Anything else? Also, I have I, I still have this open this going because I have my shield out. Uh, okay. I don't I don't know if that and that doesn't really impact what just happened, but it's just really yeah, weird. it's it would not have impacted it because it was a critical hit. Uh, yeah. But it might it would have changed it from advantage to no advantage. Um. So. But yeah, it did, it, you're Lucky correct monk. that it didn't didn't have any impact just now. But Lucky Monk. <laughs> All right. So the leader now uh, uh, just kind of scream is still kind of screaming in agony because of this this uh, wound in her eye, and she is striking <laughs> out against. Actually, I need. I'm still not at her yet. Okay, now I've reached her. And she is going to strike out at Ekron with three attacks. Oh. Nice. Great. So uh, you'll have to tell me the... which ones have hit. There's, there's, yeah, there's no advantage on this attack. The first one misses. Okay. So I'll take 18. Okay, you'll take 18 plus, uh, go ahead and make a uh, constitution saving throw. Constitution. I'm gonna find that right away. Um, there it is. All right, so you pass the saving throw. Praise. She, she was trying to stun you. 
but wasn't successful. Was trying to create a stun effect, but was sure. not successful with it. That would have um, made it where you couldn't move and could only barely speak until the end of her next turn. But it's to no avail. Which brings us now to this monk here that is also going to multi-attack against Sugarcane. Well, it's stunned. Bring it. Oh, it's stunned. Never mind. It's uh, or it's paralyzed rather. So it actually. But at the end of the turn, it makes a wisdom make fifteen. Those, right. Cannot make those. It makes its wisdom check and fails, so it just loses its turn. So that you All right. so it, it'll be paralyzed next turn as well. I like how it has a little snail, a little snail on his back. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice addition. Yeah. And that gets us to Glory's turn. Okay. Okay. Let's uh come on down to the big boss lady and just try to kick her in the head a lot. Kick her okay. real good. <laughs> kick her. That's a miss. Real good. A little intimidated. She's scary. <laughs> There's a hit for nine. And bonus action. Oof. That is going to be a miss. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm more scared now. Pass turn. You kick her right in the cape. Mm -hmm. It does zero points of damage. <laughs> this cape still have health. That cape got okay. real dirty. Again, Our spiritual weapon was here, and it moves to engage the boss and makes an attack against her. Okay. Uh, let's see. So, with advantage, that is going to be a seventeen-point hit. Ooh. Woo! See, I, I don't. I don't know what's going on with those crits, if that's like supposed to be happening or not. But anyway. Just that good? Yeah, yeah. No, just I haven't I haven't uh, found exactly how that works yet. Yeah. But um It's well I'm show I'm just looking it, at the formula for it and it's showing a crit success is greater than twelve. Uh hmm. And then I'm showing one that's crit success is greater than five. I'm not sure it's coming out outright because. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think those are supposed to be crits, but I. So maybe twelve damage. Yeah. Are you rolling off of? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and give give her five points back. Um, are you rolling off of beyond twenty? Yeah, I am. Okay. Okay. But I'm. I'm still trying to figure out exactly why that's happening. So, yeah, it's it looks but, like um, it's it's the formula for it is, is showing it's got a really high crit range. Like I've never seen one that that's that's that wide before, but I don't know what yeah the, I don't know what the error is. So anyway, yeah, she's got the points back now. So any anything else on your turn? Yeah, I'm gonna um, channel divinity. Um, Hmm. Uh, it's not showing up as a thing. Let's do that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to heal Ekron for 18, uh, Sayuri for 3, Glory for however much she's missing, like 3 or something. 5, yeah. Oh, 5. Um, and then myself for... Uh, math is hard. Four. Because I can do 30 in total. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Here we go. Gonna hop right in here, take another stab at her. We'll aim for the face again. Just another eleven okay. points of damage. Nice. Use your bonus action. Oh yeah, I forgot. And I have an I do have an offhand action, and since I'm at full health, I'll go ahead and hit her again with my offhand. Right. She doesn't get a sneak attack. This is not a sneak right. attack. Yeah, All just right. 
So you hit her twice, and you've really sensed that you've got her on her heels there. Okay. That's it for me. Isn't every attack against her technically a sneak attack? Because she doesn't <laughs> see. If we were all rogues. But, um, <laughs> no, she's got... She's, she's got super... She, got, she's got she super knows what's senses. going on in here. She's, her other senses are attuned. Yeah, she's like she's like Toph and Avatar. She can feel the vibrations of the earth beneath her. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Or I feel the like, vibrations. You know, like a blind person who knows what's going on around them, <laughs> just because they can't see. Yeah. Well, I assume. No, they got their work with sticks. No, they do not. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Okay, I think it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Oh, my bad. So Wait, sorry. Wait, turn? Oh, it's my turn. Sorry. Oh, oh, is it? I, okay, I was looking at the turn order, and first I scrolled down, so I thought it was one of the bird turns. Or yeah, okay. Anyways, um, okay, I wanna. I'm definitely gonna take this opportunity to take a couple swings at her. Okay. With the old trusty great axe. Why not? Please hit. That is a miss, but the second one hits, and it just Great. comes up under her chin and knocks her across the room. Woo. And she slumps down to the ground. And uh, hurts. And uh, but, but before she dies, she kind of looks up at you and she says, the earth itself will swallow you whole. It is he, he is coming for you and for everyone else uh, from deep below. The, Look, we were just trying. We, we just. Below this place. Oh, my gosh. Go ahead. All we did was ask you to leave. But. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to move right here to be engaged with uh, this fool right here, and then I'll end my turn. All right, so both of these other two guys that are left uh, just kind of look like they're ready to give up. Like they're just kind of putting their hands up and trying to back up. You can still continue with the combat if you want to, but they look like they've about had enough. Let's just tell, let's just ask them what the, let's let's send the combat and ask them what, what she meant, what she was talking about. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, let's interrogate these fools. Who's All good right. at interrogation? So they're just kind of backing up and looking at the door nervously, hoping that they can walk out of it uh, alive. Um, but you can t- you can try to talk to them while they're doing that. I'm gonna jump over to this door and and block it and cross my arms real tough. <laughs> Yeah, they're, well, they're trying to go out this door, so. I'm going to ju- walk over to this door and cross my arms real tough. <laughs> I'll go stand behind, beside her and cross my arms real tough. Yeah, that's my best friend. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them, hey, stop moving. Uh, tell, us what's, tell us what's through this door. This door. What's on the other side of this door? Through, through the door is a hallway that leads down to the dojo where we train. What, what's in the dojo? Only a mat and some basic materials that we use in our training. No, no friends? No. no, all of us came with her when we heard all of the confusion in the front of the monastery. Can uh can we does it seem like they're lying? Can we tell if they're lying? Yeah, you can uh, you can make an insight check. Seems to you like they're telling the truth. Oh, they're trust- Who is she talking about? Trust- Who is he that Yeah. Oh, I I tried to write his name in here. Wait a minute. Marlos. Yeah. Tell us more about Marlos, that guy. Marlos, Marlos Unraeli. 
And really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he is the prophet of the earth. And we, uh, we've heard uh, our leader speak of him many times, though we've never really seen him before. Hmm. Is he a is he a supernatural being or is he a physical being? Uh, the tales we hear are true. Uh, he was mortal at least once, but uh, now he has become one of the princes. And you can one of the princes. You can tell there's a lot of weight when they say the word princes. <laughs> what's a what's a prince? What are the princes? Uh, he just kind of looks confused. They've got their masks off now, and he just kind of looks confused like you don't know. Have you not heard of the princes of the apocalypse? Um, well, in a way, we have. <laughs> yeah. Like but, the horse uh, So what what is what's their what's their role in in uh are they trying to bring the the princes back are they trying to summon them what what are they trying to do he says please i don't know a whole lot about this i know that they all dwell below and that the day is coming when they're going to come up onto the surface and uh wreak destruction when specifically is the day coming (laughs) They just kind of look at each other and say, none of us know. Uh, we just know that it's going mm. to be soon. Is there a, mm. is there a temple somewhere or a, a, a place where all the monks gather to, to worship this prince? All of the monks, all of us monks live up here uh, on the surface, but we've heard of rumors of a temple, yes. Well, we've heard about some slaves. Do they have anything to do with the princes? Uh, no, they they only uh, work in the mines around here. They they don't have anything directly to do with the princes that I that we know of at least. And the princes are supposed to have come from below. Wouldn't mines be below? The yeah, mines what are, they are only they barely taking? below the surface. What we're talking about is a place that's deep, deep. Oh, that's right. Like that's metaphor. Right. This, are you, never mind. Um, what, are they, what are they doing down there in the mines? Only uh, gathering, only gathering valuable minerals, so that um, it, it, in the service of Unrayli. Hmm. Well. <laughs> We had talked about freeing the slaves. They're not super helpful. Um, yeah, let's free the slaves. That's, we that's still number don't... one on my priorities. Yeah, I think we need to free the slaves. Um, is there, I want to ask them if there's anything else or anyone else in the, any other leaders in this temple other than the blind friend who met her untimely demise um it says none 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 that are here no they're down below so we might we might be able to free